Hi, in this quick video I'll be showing you how to uh, remove one of these latch connectors on pretty much any 3DS. This is a 3DS XL and um, how to reattach it afterwards. Sorry for the bad video quality but this is filmed through my microscope and here's the connector and what you need to do is right here there's this metal part right there and you need to, you need to bend that outwards um, to make the uh, plastic part of the latch able to slide out so I'm going to do that and show you what it looks like now you should be able to see right here and over here the metal parts are bent over just a tiny bit without breaking the plastic and now you can take the connector and pull it off downwards like this. So it needs to be in the open position and then you can kind of just pull it out. So flip up the latch so it's in this direction and then you can just pull it out because the retaining clips, the metal parts on the side, are removed. And to put it back in place, uh, you just do the exact reverse of that. So you again take uh, your plastic latch and you need to thread it through these metal pins. It's not as hard as it sounds so you just it's kind of hard to do this without looking through the microscope myself. But you should just be able to slide it on like that and then what I like to do is kind of fold the latch down and as you can see it works. So now I'll just take my tweezers and grab these both ends right here and then bend them back into place. Bend them back inwards. And now you should be able to see right here that I've bent the uh, metal parts back into place. And now you can just flip up and down the latch um, without it falling out or anything, anything, so it's uh, secured back into place. And yeah, that's um, something I've been doing for a while now, and it's super easy. I think it's a um, pretty good way to do it without soldering.